Hey, what's up, YouTube? Eric here with White Wolf Gaming, and I am starting a Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play series. Uh, I'm going to try my best to uh, cover as many points as possible, um, as well as make this as entertaining as possible, because I know some Let's Play series can be pretty weak, and uh, I don't want to sound like this trying to explain. Yeah, that's just bad juju, man. All right. So, first things we're going to do, uh, go ahead and explain a little bit about the game. It is free to play, uh, meaning that you do not pay for a subscription to play the game. It is a free download and free to play. Some content is not accessible on the free to play status. You can go ahead and buy turbine points to go ahead and get around that. Um, you can also become a VIP subscriber, as I once was. Um, I do believe that's $9.99 a month, and there's just so much content in this game that is not only free, but the stuff that you do pay for just makes it that much more of an awesome and enlightening experience. Now, uh, I am not an expert at this game by any means. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the character creator because we're not going to use one of my already existing characters. Now, uh, they have Man, Dwarf, Hobbit, and Elf. Um, everything but the dwarf, sticking true to lore, has a male-female counterpart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just show you some of the uh, randomized characters, so I don't want to go through every option because that's just going to take forever. Uh, character creation on this uh, particular game is uh, pretty in-depth. Um, I like it a little bit more than uh, other MMOs, and uh, you know, it, it definitely can... Uh, be appealing to the eye. So let's go ahead and just randomize uh, some of the character creation options here. As you can see, a uh, wider range of uh, facial hair, scarring, wrinkles, hairdos themselves, skin tones, eye color, so forth. You can be uh, super buff, you can be super skinny, whatever. Um, you also have uh, origins for each race. Uh, that's going to pretty much dictate what kind of skin tones are available to you. And uh, if you're into the lore at all, uh, you got some naming guidelines and uh, all that good fun stuff there. Um, at any rate, I'm not going to worry too much here. I'm on the Firefoot server, which is not an RP server, so I don't have to worry too much about role playing. So let's go ahead and go back and let's look at some of the female options. Alright, so here we are with the females, and like I said before, quite a bit of uh, customization options available to you. Uh, they're not bad looking characters. Um, you know, something that you want to look at for, you know, 75 levels, which is the current cap right now. Um, so yeah, not bad, not a bad deal at all. We'll go ahead and take a look at a uh, Dwarf, Hobbit, and Elf real quick, and uh, we'll go get into, the, uh, get into the game now. So, pretty decent, Hobbits. Such a funny looking race. Anyways, let's go look at the females. Not too fond of Hobbit females. Though I guess it could be kind of cool to play, I suppose. Uh, look weird. Alright, and elves. Look at males first. See if there's a huge difference between the female and the uh, males. Not a whole lot. Alrighty. Actually, looks pretty cool. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and create a character and let's get into the starting zone. I'll be right back with you. Just realized before I get into the uh, character creation itself, uh, I wanted to go ahead and go over a couple of the class points. We've got a burglar, which is going to be like your rogue. Captain, which is going to be your support type class, which is going to do a lot of buffing and all that good fun stuff. Champion is going to be your straight up DPS. They like to screw things up. They're awesome. Alright, Guardian, that is going to be your tank. Lore Master is going to go ahead and be like your mage. Hunter is your ranged DPS. Uh, Minstrel is going to be your healer. And Warden is going to be your tank slash DPS. They are uh, they're a unique class to play. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, before I get into that exactly, I want to show you the Rune Keeper because uh, man doesn't have that available to them. They are the healer damage type class. Uh, 
interesting to be uh, to say. They they are interesting to play. So with that being said, I'm going to go with a female man <laughs> warden. All right, let's see how this goes out. I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. Um, I've tried a few names now, and uh, a lot of them are taken. So that's what the uh, price you pay for going on a semi-populated server. Um, I do not normally play female characters, but I figure let's try something new, and uh, let's go with it. So I do not know if this name is going to stick or not, so bear with me if it doesn't. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the new user tutorial. Not that I don't know how to play exactly, but I think that we should experience the game for what it is. Um, they do a pretty good job of teaching you how to play and they kind of make it interactive. So at any rate, let's try Rosona and see if it works. Sweet. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into Middle Earth and I will cut back when it's playable. Brigands upon the road leads to captivity. You awaken with the ranger Strider before you. As he urges you to act quickly, you realize you have become involved in matters much greater than yourself. Alright, so uh, you got your basic movement, WASD key keys. Um, one thing that you notice that my uh, gamut default thingamajig is just kind of hanging over right there. I don't care for that too much. Um, one thing that this game does pretty cool wide is that it gives you the ability to go ahead and customize your screen without any kind of add-ons or anything like that. So I'm going to hit control backspace and that's going to give me the ability to move whatever box I want to move. So, let's go ahead and get some of these out of the way because, yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about sparring timers and all that. Alright, Gambit Panel. I'm going to kind of hang that out right here. And a little progress bar I'm going to put down there until I get more skills and, and fill it in. Now, that looks uh, pretty decent. Looks like a hot mess, actually, with all the stuff up. So, let's bring that down. Okay, let's go ahead and close the hint thing there. Alright, so here we are. Let's go ahead and talk to Strider. Enough! Alright, so he's a badass. So let's get into the satchel here. Salute it all. Alrighty. So I is going to be for your inventory or bag slots. Let's go ahead and hook it up with Javelin there. Get a groovy little stick and a new shield. Alrighty, we're good. Let's talk to Strider. Hurry, friend. We must test your will to fight. So basically, he wants me to spar with him. And I'm going to do just that. Well done. Let us press on. Alright, as you can see, the little portal thing right there, it's an instanced area. Alright, so we're on the other side of that door. A lot of dead stuff around us. Pretty cool. These fiery glowing rings... That means that is a story-related quest. Um, the way that they progress in stories in this game is through books and chapters. So it's pretty unique and nice. And the overall element of this game is story-driven. So if you're familiar with World of Warcraft and their story system now, they've gotten a little better. But it, it just you didn't really care what the hell was going on. You, you got a quest, you did it, and, and then you did your dailies, whatever. Here, it, it is very story driven and that's why I think I enjoy this game a little bit more than the other MMOs that are on the market. So let's go ahead and see what Strider has to say and let's get through this area. Here is where we must part ways. So I gotta kill some brigands who have captured a hobbit. Okay, so let's do our thing. As you see I got my death strike there and if I were to hit three I would uh, do my Gambit default. Gambit's kind of like a power attack, or it gives me a certain kind of buff, something like that. So, let's go. She's 
also got a range attack here. Let's go ahead and throw a couple of on this dude. That's pretty decent damage, so you whittle away an enemy before it gets close and you gotta get nice and personal. Let's see here. Alright, so we got some drama. A lovely day, isn't it? Indeed it is. Alright, let's move. Alright, as you can see, the uh, the graphics in the game are pretty good, considering that it was released in 2007. It's still holding up. And this is the uh, HD client. They also have a standard resolution client, and uh, your computer is not that great. So, any and all can enjoy the game. To the shadow of fallen king. Spawn, you will not harm these folk. Alright, so he went away. Dread's still kind of there, but we're alright. We're not totally immobilized. So let's see, Admir. Yeah. Now, if you see, that changed over to Hope. Well, actually, I'm pretty much even right now. But if I were to feel Hope because I'm next to a, a character in the Fellowship, I, I get buffs as opposed to weakness when I get dread. So it's kind of an interesting little... <sighs> I regret that I was but a moment too late. But all is not lost. Alright, so let's try to finish now. Wounded by a black rider. The ranger Amdir escaped with his charges into the wild, making his way back to the village of Archer. There, Captain Brackenbrook, a retired sellsword, had allowed Strider and his companions to stay and take respite from their cares. I apologize about the skipping there. Uh, <laughs> the fraps that I'm using and the high res packets and my computer do not like playing the uh, videos while loading for some reason. It just takes too much. I need to upgrade, so I do apologize in advance for any skipping that happens. So here we are in Archit, and I'm standing with somebody. Gosh, I think we ended up over a tornado. Oh, you had one. That's one. Right. Thank so goodness you're awake. That fellow on deer seems very ill. in quest guy pointing me out where I need to go so I'm not really ever too lost at any given time do not trouble yourself on my account uh, it is only a chill ah, there are too many deeds to be done all pressing and none of them easy perhaps you can help my friend captain Brackenbrook will not heed my warnings Now, the beginning quests here are a little bit slow. It's kind of teaching a little bit more outside of the tutorial in case you skipped it. So what I'm going to honestly do at this point is I'm going to skip up until where the quests start getting a little better when you start getting outside of this area. Because it's just a lot of run, talk to a few people. So, oh, see you back here shortly.
I'm gonna cut back here for just a second to show you what a level up looks like. It's pretty uh, interesting. Alas, for peaceful folk everywhere, it is an enormous task to convince them that evil people with evil intentions will commit evil deeds. Before you try to fight, you must learn what skills you made from the trainer. Pretty cool, I think. I, li I like seeing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and visit the trainer and then finish out some of these more mundane quests. And I'll see you again in a bit. Another thing I want to pop out and show you real quick is that your trainer will always have this this emblem of your of your class hanging over his head. So if you're ever in a populated area, let's go back here and kind of show you because it can get pretty congested, especially if there's other players. Going. There's a lot of crap to try and see. And uh, you're like, shit, where's my trainer? And then you can kind of see that little thing. Now, if the floating names are too much for you, you can always turn them off by pushing N, not B like I just did. All right, so that makes it even more Easily accessible to me. So here we are. Here's my trainer. This is another thing I wanted to show you while I'm out here doing this quest. Uh, as you can see, the overall graphics of the game are pretty detailed. Uh, now that it's daytime and you can kind of see a little bit more. Uh, right. Anyway, uh, it's definitely definitely a nice looking game it's pretty to look at you know character models look good uh, yeah just wanted to kind of point that out to you in case you were still kind of on the fence while the game looks a little cheesy because I know I was in a dark area before but uh, it runs good and it looks good so and I, I and I'm running on a uh, medium end machine here this <laughs> this computer has been to Iraq with me a couple times and it's still around so uh, it's definitely showing its age, um, but at any rate, it runs it, it runs great. So don't worry too much. And like I said earlier, it does have a low end client. If that's what you're worried about. So it's definitely something worth taking a look at. All right, so we are back, and uh, here we are with the final quest into the introduction here. Um, as you can see, I'm talking to John Brackenbrook, which is in a hunter's lodge. Uh, a few quests back from where I last left you. So we're going to go ahead and uh, accept and we're going to travel now and this is where we'll continue recording from here on out. Again, Fraps is not like the loading screen so I apologize for any screen hiccup here. John Brackenbrook and his hunters have reached the outskirts of Archit to find it already ablaze. A desperate struggle to save their village is about to begin. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. There's a lot of narration in the uh, story quests. So it's pretty good. We have no time to lose. Let's roll. Come on. So we're going into the town here, and uh, as you can see, it looks much, much neater. We must save Ned. <laughs> Our chat must still be saved. More up ahead. We must find my father before it's too late. Much more different when it's a set of blaze here. Look, Otley is ahead. All must not be lost. Well met, friend. Is the crafting hall safe? Apparently, they decided not to voice him. This little 
screen uh, is a uh, buff when I get to it, so I get it to it. Although the Mad Badger burns, I still hold out hope. Alright, as you can see, I, I'm not digging that right there. Um, I'll fix that a little bit later. I'm not going to waste your guys' time with it. But I don't want to miss out on the story right this second either. Father! I knew you would survive! You notice it got very dark here. Thing that I do wish is that some of these scenes right here were uh, fully voiced. That would totally immerse you, I think. But you know what? It's all good. So our uh, ranger friend decided to uh, go ahead and join the dark side, uh, to put it in a better term. He just uh, killed his buddy. No. His father. Ah. Trust no one. So, we've just completed our first instance in uh, Lord of the Rings Online, and now we are gonna go ahead and travel out of it. With the Black Wolves' attack foil, the people of Archit have begun to rebuild. Yet, not all her are so easily mended. The fate of the Ranger Amdi remains uncertain and may have dire consequences for Breland. But hope remains that he may yet be saved. Yeah, Fraps does not like the videos in this. Uh, it's so weird. Never had a problem recording before. So, now here's the uh, aftermath. We are now currently live in the uh, in the realm now. So, no more training area here. This is the uh, full game. And this is what Archit will look like for the rest of your journey. Though, we won't be here for very much longer. Because actually we're going to complete a couple quests here. And then uh, head out to the next area, which I believe is Colm. So, let's go ahead and talk to John here. What do you need? And just like any other MMO, you got your reputation and all that good fun stuff. Uh, what we just got was the milestone skill. And basically what that's going to do, if I can find it in here. Small man. Alright, but anyway. any rate. I'm not going to bother looking for it too much because it's right here on my taskbar. Such a jackass. Anyway. So what that's going to do is that you're going to see these little, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, pillars. Um, milestones, we'll call them that, sure. Anyway, so you're going to see these uh, milestones throughout the game, uh, usually in towns and uh, big cities and what have you. And this is where you're going to set your uh, 
you're, you know, bind yourself to. So when you bind yourself to it, it's going to be, if you're familiar with, like, World of Warcraft or anything, it's going to be like your hearthstone. Uh, so you can go ahead and cast it, and it's going to take you home. So it's uh, pretty unique uh, in its own right because actually it's not unique at all. <laughs> I don't even know where to I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, still got a cooldown of uh, 60 minutes. Um, you can buy perks to make that less time, but uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm totally good with it being an hour. It's, it's all good. Um, as you can see, the mail system, uh, just like any other MMO. Let's go ahead and check to see what we have here. We have a letter from John, so let's see what that's all about. And he has given you a gift pack. Now these uh, gift packs. Oh fuck! Did I just delete it? No. Okay, I took it. All right. So anyway, the gift packs here. Uh, you open it, and they're level. What I was trying to say is they're leveled. So basically, uh, as you progress in the levels, as you can see, this one right here. Um, you know, is available to me at level six, and and so forth. And you can keep opening these, and they give you little uh, little thingamajigs to kind of help you out. Uh, you know. You got some potions. Uh, you got starts a quest for outfitting yourself. You know, just unique little things to kind of keep you entertained on the side of the main story here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and Might start I take questing. A moment of your time. Got to bury some people who uh, perished in the uh, onslaught of the brigands, and we Might gotta go ahead and kill time. boars. Sound familiar, anyone? Oh boy, killing boars in a video game will never fucking get old, I tell you what. And I'm sorry I cursed, um, that's gonna slip out every now and again. It's just who I am, so... Yeah, this is definitely not PG. So I warn you in advance. So now we gotta find these, uh, diseased boars. There they are, right outside the gate. Too easy. And my aim has not gotten much better with the throwing of the, of the joust. There, so. yeah. Now forgive me for clicking. Like I said, I'm no expert in this game. And I've only played this class at the level 9 before. So. <laughs> Alright, yeah. almost outdid myself. But, as you can see, uh, my health doesn't go down all that much. Um, she is uh, pretty good at combat, and she just can't throw for shit because I just missed twice. see uh, the enemies out here are a little more tough as opposed to the beginning zone when I first showed you. There's another warden there. Now if you mix certain gambits up they give you certain perks. And they gotta go in order otherwise it's just a general attack. Now I went ahead and uh, changed my looting to auto loot. At the beginning levels, it's good to collect as much as you can to try and get as much gold as you can. The way they start off with the uh, gold here, you use uh, copper, and then that stacks up to silver, and silver stacks up to gold. Now if you're a non-subscription or non-premium account holder, there is a gold limit, so be aware. And I believe that is five gold. That doesn't sound like much if you're used to World of Warcraft, but uh, it is quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of money in the game. Um, for instance, uh, not that it's bragging because it's probably not at all. Uh, my level 30 has, I believe, 12 gold. Oh my God! You know what I mean? That's yeah. So, at any rate, we're gonna go ahead and float around here for a little bit longer. I still have boars to kill. Um, got sidetracked talking there and what I'm gonna do is uh, pretty much take breaks in between quests